Have you ever lived in a house that's been taken over by dragons? Well, this house is. Look at, we have dragons on the light. We have more dragons on more lights. Look at that. Dragons everywhere. Lumban dragons. The dragons are even taking over the TV. Look at that. They're all over the place. They're taking over. I don't know. We're going to be overrun by dragons. The dragons are even on our stove. Our wood stove. But I wonder about this poor fellow. Look at him. Some of his loom bands are disintegrating. Oh no. What are we going to do? What do we do? I mean, there's hundreds and hundreds of loom bands in that dragon and he's disintegrating. What's happening? What are we going to do? So much for spending so much more money on the loom bands. I spent so much time on that. Actually, I didn't. My daughter did. And look at this. Even little wee tiny crochet dragons are taking over our place. Look at that. I can't even sit on my couch. They're taking over. But boy, are they cute. Look at those little ones. Man, they're so cute. I'd let them take over my house any day. Oh boy, have you ever had dragons taken over your house? I don't know. Be careful. They're hard to live with. So tell me, if you're being overrun by dragons, why you just let me know. Tell me your worst or best experience with dragons at your place. I don't know. I think everybody's got dragons somewhere in their house. Maybe you just don't see them. These ones like to hide. So anyways, tell me your best story about dragons. Comment below and subscribe so we can tell you more stories. Anyways, maybe next time I'll tell you all the names of our pet dragons. Until next time, be creative, have fun.